Hey guys, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Akusia Benhini. If you're new, if you're a returning subscriber, hey boo, what it do? <laughs> so in today's video, I am doing a very, you know, beginner friendly eyeshadow look for you guys. Pretty much the same eye look that I have on right now. So if you're interested, I don't want to talk too much, all right? Let's get into the look. It's giving a little summer friendly makeup, you know, eventful, I'm going out with my friends, I'm going to dinner with hubby kind of vibe. I hope you guys like it and I hope that you subscribe if you're not already subscribed, all right? What what are you doing if you're not subscribed? Subscribe. And without further ado, my loves, let's get right into the video. <laughs> still very early in the morning this is my morning face so if it looks a little puffy that's because I just you know started the day I guess but I'm gonna go in with my primer so I'm using a few new products that um, I received from Ipsy Beauty this primer from Mad Mask I've never tried before never seen never had never tried so I'm gonna go ahead and do my base but I want to rush through my base because this is going to be focused on the eye so I do have a detailed base tutorial uh, I will link that for you below um, in the description so please check that out but yeah <laughs> foundation is sitting really well I mean I love this foundation every time like I'm always talking about how good of a match this foundation is for me but every day she just leaves me with no wet because this is just beautiful absolutely beautiful so I'm trying out the new Lancome all over concealer um, for the very first time I'm trying out the shade for 530 and then for 70 you guys know that I always double up on my concealers if you haven't watched my base tutorial a lot of things might not make sense to you so after this video please go ahead and watch that video all right <music> just how I want it to look I'm well, gonna get in with the eyes let's get in with the eye starting off with um, prepping I'm using the Maybelline eraser concealer this is in the shade let's see 147.5 I use this to prep my eye area for my eyeshadow and then let's go ahead and blend it out I don't set it majority of the times like 90% out of 100 I don't set it so I'm just gonna go in with my eyeshadow shades I have this eyeshadow palette from Il Maquillage it is so pretty it's just a quad um, and you know I'm gonna go ahead and do something with this so this is going to be as beginner friendly as possible I'm starting off with this shade right here and again, this is going to be more so um, a mono eyeshadow look. Now, the monochromatic look, you can use eyeshadows in the same color family and it's still going to be monochrome because you're it pretty much in the same bracket, all right? So I'm using different shades of brown to achieve this look. I'm just going in my outer areas 
on my crease. Now with your eyeshadow, you always want to go in secular motions. So you always want to blend instead of drag. So with eyeshadow, you're either going to be placing the color like so, or you're going to be blending in a secular motion just to distribute that product in different areas as well as blend the product. So that's what you want to do with your eyeshadow. If you want some more pigment, what you want to do is just dab, 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 just so you have more shade. Or more color but if you want much more of like a blended out look then you definitely want to move around in circular motions that's what you want to do so next I'm gonna go in with this shade right here you barely find the perfect dark brown shade for black skin girls so okay so I'm just putting that all over my lid. So you see what I'm doing? I'm putting it on my lid and because I want a lot more of a color payoff, I'm just dab, dab, dab. <laughs> I'm just dabbing that shade right onto my lid. So it gives me that and then I'm just going to go ahead and blend it into the very first shade that we had originally put down. I like the brown, it has more of like a gray undertone. And even though it's a monochromatic eye shade, or even though it's just like a one color eye shade, what I do is I still go into my crease as though I was doing um, like a two color shade. Now this is going to just accentuate your, um, oh, I almost dropped the thing. <laughs> now this step is just going to help accentuate the brown bone that you have there so that it gives you much more of like a defined you know eyeshadow look because every pretty much everything comes into play when you're doing your makeup so you want to consider every feature that you have you're either accentuating the feature or diminishing that feature or trying to like conceal that feature so i'm just going to go directly um onto my crease and just blend out to give it like much more or some definition in that area so the shade is very simple it's not the kind of brown that i would have wanted but i'm happy that i still tried it out because it's still it's still giving a good shade of brown now i'm just gonna go back into the first shade that i used and blend out the outer areas just so that i don't have any harsh lines So just to bring some life into the eyeshadow look, I decided to put some of the glitter shade in my inner corner. I have this shade right here. I'm going to put that right here just so that, you know, just so that some life comes into this eye look because it looks a little dead to me. <laughs> So just to be a little extra, I'm going to do a pop of color on my lower lid. I'm going in with the glitter shade that I have here. It's a blue glitter shade for my lower lid. I think I love that. I think I absolutely love that because I think I didn't like how basic the eye look was looking. So I like that. I prefer this 100%. I like that it has some pop of color and you know, it's just perfect for the season. The eye look is pretty much done. I'm going to add some lashes onto this. Um, but let me finish off the rest of my face and then I'll add on some lashes because it looks really good now. Okay guys, 
so I am done this is the final look I totally love my base okay I think I should do another base tutorial for you guys because but also the eyeshadow definitely took a quick 10 and it turned out to look good I absolutely love what we have is giving toned down but it's also giving you know a pop of color so I like that <laughs> I also decided to you know add a pop of color to my lip just to you know give us a little something something it's summer it's nice and bright outside you definitely want to show up and show out okay so I hope this is a look that inspires you if you do recreate something like this comment below and let me know or tag me in your looks um, but this is the final look Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on all my social media platforms, Akusia Benhini, Instagram, TikTok, Lemonade, all of that good stuff. And yeah, I will leave all the products in the description box for you guys, as well as a link to my Amazon storefront if you care to shop. So bye, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Mwah.